What's going on guys? I'm here to tell you how to unlock the Fortnite items in Rocket League and also in Fortnite, the Rocket League items in Fortnite, as quickly as possible. Llama Rama has just begun, but you have what? I think a week and a half, two weeks, something like that to get it all done. But let's just go over how you can get it done quickly. For the people that are coming over from Fortnite, I get it. You want to collect every item. You might not even care about Rocket League or didn't, have never played it, but maybe by the end of doing these challenges, you will like the game and want to play some more. So... I will tell you how to get the items as quickly as possible. So Llama Rama, it's live. Let's go into challenges real quick. Uh, so you go down here to the Llama Rama challenges, view challenges. And then you have to complete these tasks in order to get the items in Rocket League, which will also unlock items in Fortnite. We'll go over what items those are in a little bit. Basically, I already have my whole card decked out in the Llama Rama stuff for the Octane. Two things to note as soon as you start. Begin with the Octane. Do not change cars because then when you get the decal later on, for the Octane, you can equip it right away. So what you have to do is basically just play one match is the first challenge. When you play that match, it won't tell you you've unlocked anything within the game. You actually have to back out, come here, hit claim, and then there'll be either just an OK button like you have the antenna. Or you can hit to equip it now. So that's what you want to do. You want to equip it right away because every challenge after will include the previous item. And so this is how you will get all the items in Fortnite and also in Rocket League. So you start with the antenna. Once you get the antenna, you just have to win one match in casual, which is for the new players, the only playlist you will have available. But for players that do have ranked, do not play ranked. Go into casual, play one online match, actually win one online match, and you'll unlock the topper. Make sure you come back here and you equip it once again. Because the next one, you have to be wearing the topper to get five goals, saves, or assists. Now, this one, I would say going to 1v1, like if you want to guarantee to do this in one game. Because then you could just park the bus and sit in net and get five saves relatively easily, no matter what rank you're at. Uh, so you could do it that way, like or maybe just play two games in like 2v2, and you'll probably get it pretty easily. Maybe even one um, if you're having a good game. So that's what you got to do there to unlock this decal, as you can see here, on the Octane itself. Then you want to equip that. The reason why you want to have the Octane card to begin with is because of that. Is because you want to be able to just hit equip now, not have to go in and change your car and then swap out the decal. So that's why you want to do that. Then you need to win five online matches in any playlist. Now, two ways to go about this for the new players. If you have casual, unlocked, and not ranked, just play casual. Doesn't matter what mode, have fun. Play what you think you will enjoy the most. Twos and threes is generally what Rocket League is about. 1v1 is something you would do more when you're more advanced later on. Uh, but twos and threes is your common Rocket League experience. If you do have ranked unlocked, then you probably want to just stick to one playlist because the MMR for that playlist will go down. Like if, say, you're brand new to the game and you're not doing very well and getting a lot of losses, well, your MMR will drop considerably and you'll start facing... Uh, players that are around your skill level a lot quicker. In casual, I feel like that would probably take a little bit longer, plus all of your casual playlists convert into one MMR. So maybe you want to do that uh, if you have that unlocked. Uh, so basically what I did was I started to do some of my Rumble placements because I haven't done that yet for this season. One of my favorite modes in this game. So uh, check that out if you have it. Uh, then, once you get that, you unlock the wheels, as you can see here. Wheels are equipped, and then you have to get an MVP in an online match. The one thing you cannot do is go into a 1v1 game. There is no MVP awarded when you're just by yourself on your team, even if you get the win. The MVP is only awarded for teams that win whoever has the most points on that team. So um, if you're new, I would go into a 2v2 playlist and then play that because then there's only one other person on your team that you have to compete with for the most points to try and get MVP. Again, you have to win that match. Once you do that while using those wheels, then you get the battle bus, and this is what we'll talk about now. Uh, so let's head back. Now, one thing to remember is to always go back into this challenge box and then view challenges and claim your challenges after every single game to make sure you get the item. Don't go looking in your garage. It won't be there. So... Here's the car with all the Llama Rama stuff, as you can see here. So pretty, so beautiful. Love it. And now let's go over to the Battle Bus. Uh, so I have a lot of cars in this game, so it'll take a little... Oh, everything's lagging. Everything's lagging. There we go. Battle Bus. All right, let's see. All right, so let's see what decals it has. Probably not going to have much, I would assume. Oh, it looks like you can use whatever you want, actually, on it, Just kind of nice. We're actually going to turn off... 
So there's a lot of decals that I would have from, you know, various um, universal decals that are uh, in the game. I'm actually going to turn those off just to see what ones this game or this comes with by themselves. Uh, so, nope, that's goop. Okay. Maybe it doesn't come with any. Yeah, no commons, only black market and limited ones. Um, so I'll s quickly scroll through, but I guess maybe it doesn't come with any on its own. Um, so we'll check. Everything's been loading a little bit weird since uh, the free-to-play update. So, And when you have a ton of items, that happens too. So we'll just throw that on real quick. We'll show you orange team as well. Uh, looks like you can probably change the paint to whatever you want. Yep, there you go. Change the paint to whatever you want. Let's turn off this because you can't really tell what's going on with the car. So that's one nice thing. A lot of cars that are exclusive to the game that are from different franchises and stuff, you can't really change a lot. But this one, you can use universal decals. Oh, and I guess you can't change the colors. I'm actually surprised about that. So you're either red or blue is your battle bus color. Uh, then we'll go over to wheels. You cannot change the wheels. You just have battle bus wheels. There you go. And boost. You can use whatever boost you want. Throw on some vapor wave there. Uh, and then it looks like toppers, you can use whatever topper you want as well. So we got to throw on the hard hat because that's what we do here. So let me pop that up. Man, whew, these menus, chugging, chugging right now. All right, let's go over to my impenetrable goalkeeper. Oh, that hard hat. Look at that. Fits perfectly. Fits like a glove, but it's a hat. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. There you go. Got the hard hat rocking. Antennas. It even comes with a little battle balloon antenna. Hard to see there, but you can see it there. That's the only antenna that you can rock for this. And then when you get to goal explosions and stuff, you can use whatever you want there. Trails, same thing. Engine sound, let's see if you can change it. No, you cannot. You only have the battle bus engine. There it is. A little honking for you. And that's it. That is the battle bus. Now, the items you will get in Fortnite are Rocket League themed. If I can bring it up. I, I had it up here somewhere. Now let me find it. Here we go. Okay, so these are the items you get in Fortnite for doing Rocket League challenges. Now, in Fortnite, you don't have to claim the items. You just will have them. Uh, there's two backlinks, two octanes. You have the dive trail, holodata, soundtrack, a, a spray or sticker. I don't remember what it's called, and an emoticon as well. So, basically, for the first challenge, you get the Rocket League spray. Then you get the holodata drop a contrail for number two. Number three, you get the Rocket League emoticon. Number four, you get the Rocket Groove music track. And then for challenge number five, which is where you get the Battle Bus, you get both back blings, the Octane in blue and the Octane in orange. So that's how you unlock the items for Fortnite. That's how you unlock the items for Rocket League. Hope everyone has fun for all the new players coming over from Fortnite who are, you know, just trying to add to their collection. I hope you get the challenges done quick. But at the same time, I hope you enjoy Rocket League while you play it because, honestly... I've been here for I don't even know how many hours at this point, and it's it's been a blast, and I hope you guys enjoyed as well. And hopefully you add it to your rotation to play with some of your friends. So definitely go check it out. Rocket League, Fortnite, coming together for a greater cause, I guess. I'm, I'm not really sure. Not really a greater cause. You're just smacking a ball around a lot or shooting people with a backpack that's a car. But, hey, whatever. That's it. Rocket League items. Go get them. Fortnite items. Go get them. Good luck in your games. We'll see you next time. Later.